Brothers and sisters, welcome to the 1,521st training session. I would like to wish all of you a happy new year for 2021. True Mother held a leaders assembly on January 6 and 7, and she listened to every single report without missing even one. And then she celebrated the start of the new year with the leaders on January 8. She came here to the Chongshim Wanglim Palace on the coldest day of the year to help lead the New Year celebration. In her New Year's message to us, since this is the year of the white ox, she sang an old children's song, Little Calf, for us. It goes, Little Calf, Little Calf, Little White Calf, your mother is also white, you look like your mum. This was more inspiring than any sermon she could have given. True Mother no told us that the reason she sang us this song was, Your source of hope today is to be united with True Mother, the only begotten daughter. Resembling your mother is the only way to have hope for the future and share Heavenly Parents' eternal blessing. Beloved members who are here for the 1021st Hyojong Chombo Special Workshop, what is the most precious gift that true parents who have come to this earth through Heavenly Parents' long and difficult road can give to humankind? What is the greatest forgiveness that fallen humankind can receive along the road of restoration through indemnity? That is precisely the blessing that we receive from true parents. So today I would like like to talk about the grace that will be coming to your ancestors through today's liberation and blessing ceremonies. At the beginning, God invested endless Chongsong and created the heavens and the earth. Then, resembling his own form, he created his son and daughter and gave them the three great blessings so that they would live in the kingdom of heaven on earth and then abandon their physical bodies and enjoy eternal life and happiness in the kingdom of heaven in heaven. However, due to the fall of the first human ancestors, Heavenly Parent became a Heavenly Parent of pain, a Heavenly Parent of unhappiness. Therefore, those who can communicate spiritually received revelations that God's tears would fill the Han River, and true parents have told us that Heavenly Parent is in a more miserable place than the most miserable place on this earth. Who could be more unhappy than a miserable condemned prisoner on death row? It is precisely the prisoner's parents who have to watch him suffering. Heavenly Parent is in precisely that situation. After 4,000 years of listening to the painful cries of fallen humankind, he finally sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, only to suffer by watching him be put to death on the cross. Not only that, Think about how miserable our Heavenly Parent has been listening to the cries coming from the hell on earth and hell in the spirit world. Even now at this moment, he is miserable. Heavenly Parent who cannot turn away from those same cries of suffering. All of humanity is now walking the course of the corona pandemic which has infected more than 92 million people around the world and due to which more than 2 million people have died. Most of them have died without knowing Heavenly Parent and True Parents. And the cries of anguish of those 2 million people are bringing the heart of Heavenly Parent to tears. True Parents have experienced this heart of Heavenly Parent and they have made this kind of determination. Because I understand the heart of God to save human beings as my children, I must go on even while tearing off my skin, ripping off my flesh, chipping my bones and extracting my bone marrow. Because Heavenly Parent can only be liberated if everybody is liberated from hell on earth and hell in the spirit world. In order to liberate Heavenly Parent, the true parents have been willing to undergo any kind of sacrifice. Because these true parents have come, humankind now has hope for restoration. It is now possible for all people to know the principle and walk to the 
and walk the path of restoration. The way to that road is through the marriage blessing. We have amazing great grace because before true parents came, nobody, no matter how rich or important they were, could experience the marriage blessing. This means even the greatest figures who accomplished God's will in the Old Testament age, Moses, Elijah, and the prophets refer to themselves as the servants of God. In the New Testament age, even the greatest leader of the age, the Apostle Paul in Romans 8.23 said, We who are the first fruits of the Holy Spirit groan inwardly as we await adoptions as sons. So what do we have to do to become God's children? In the Old Testament age, even those who lived a perfect life of faith and devotion could not do it. In the New Testament age, even if someone demonstrated faith in every possible way, they could not be God's children. True life and true lineage are not inherited by the blood that was shed on the cross. You must inherit the blood of true love, true life, and true lineage of true parents. The only way for fallen human, fallen people to become heavenly parents' children is to be reborn through true parents. This is the one and only way to be reborn. The very core of God's providence of salvation, that is the providence of restoration, was sending the true parents. That is why Isaiah 9, 6, the coming Messiah is called the everlasting father. However, because they failed to recognize and believe in him, Jesus was hung on the cross and died. After his resurrection, he was able to stand as the spiritual true parent to his disciples and give them spiritual rebirth as his spiritual children. So those who believe in Jesus and receive the Holy Spirit can be reborn as adopted spiritual children. It is like being raised as an adopted child by a single parent who never married. So, the Apostle Paul and the others who received the Holy Spirit received rebirth as adopted children. That is why in Matthew 16, 27, Jesus promised to come again in his Father's glory. And why? When the Apostle John was exiled on Patmos Island, he prayed so much that his knees became stiff like the knees of a camel. Then he received the revelation to prepare for the second coming, which recorded in the book of Revelation. And the revelation of John, the marriage supper of the Lamb is described. In Revelation 19, 7 to 8, it says, let us rejoice and exult and give him the glory. For the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready, clothed in fine linen. And in Revelation 21, 9, Come, I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. Revelation 22, 17 tells us, The Spirit and the bride say, Come, and let him who hears say, Come, and let him who is thirsty come. Let him who desires take the water of life without price. Devout Christians have been hanging onto those words, waiting for the day that is worth a thousand years, the day of the marriage supper of the Lamb. Heaven has kept this promise. If there is an Old Testament and a New Testament, there has to be a completed testament. Finally, in 1960, with the marriage supper of the Lamb, the true parents appeared on earth. And through the marriage blessing, they have started to give us spiritual and physical rebirth, along with the incredible grace to be reborn as God's children. This was the happiest news in the providence of restoration. Reverend Buck Inson of the Eden Monastery understood that the clouds where the Lord will return represented the spirit-led Christian churches of Korea. But there were other people who believed exactly what was written in the Bible, and they were expecting to be physically raptured into the sky. After that, the blessing began with the three couples, then more couples were added, and the blessing expanded beyond racial, national, and religious borders across the whole world. 
and in the 33rd year since the advent of true parents on August 24, 1992, before the 30,000 couples blessing, before more than 700 important leaders, true father declared that he and true mother had come as saviors and messiahs. Also, that same year in Korea, the Dami mission predicted that the rapture would come in October, but it did not come. And three years later, the door was opened to give the blessing to people in the spirit world. In the 36th year since True Parents' holy wedding on August 24, 1995, the day before the 360,000 couple blessing, the families of Chongmo Nim, Daehyun Nim, and Demonim were blessed in the spirit world. Even though these three families had made the greatest contribution to prepare for the advent of True Parents, they could not receive the blessing until it had expired expanded all the way to 360,000 couples. This shows that a great amount of Chongsong was needed to open the door to the blessing of people in the spirit world. We need to understand how great the merit of this age is that we are able to liberate and bless our ancestors in the spirit world. After that, more blessings for the spirit people were held. With the 40 million couples blessings on November 29, 1997, the first large-scale spirit world blessing was held. And a few days later, on December 1st, a declaration was made that the door to the spiritual blessings was open. And on May 15, 1998, the proclamation of the liberation of hell and the opening of heaven was made. The same year, on June 2, True Father established the spirit world training center to teach the divine principle. And on June 13, along with the first phase of the 360 million couple blessings, true parents blessed saints and evildoers in the spirit world, declaring the unification of the physical world and the spirit world. The first group of spirits that received the blessing after the three families of true parents' ancestors came through returning resurrection to work with the blessed families after 1995. This makes Chanyang Yoksa very precious. After this, on February 12, 1999, the providence began for blessed families to liberate ancestors in their direct lineage. The same year, on March 21st, was the day of the proclamation of Satan's natural surrender. On May 14, the ceremony for the liberation of heaven and earth. And on September 9, Gugujol, representing the cosmic unity of the true parents of heaven and earth, Satan's barriers dividing the earth and the spirit world were destroyed. The next day, on September 10, at 10.10 10, through 3.10 day, the numbers 1 through 10 were dedicated to heaven's side, and the Old Testament, New Testament, and completed Testament ages were completely restored through indemnity. Then October 23, 1999 was the proclamation of the Day of Liberation by giving the blessing to all heaven and earth. And after the proclamation of the Age of Realm of the Fourth Adam on October 24, the Chongsong Wanglim Palace was dedicated on November 23, 1999 here at the training center a few weeks later on december 12 1999 blessings for the, fir the for the ancestors of blessed families began the process went through this kind of twisting turning course and finding blessings for the ancestors of blessed families began in the 40th year after the holy wedding of true parents but in order for the ancestors in the spiritual world to receive the blessing, their descendants on the earth must set conditions of restoration. After their liberation, the ancestors must attend a 100-day divine principle workshop to be prepared as absolutely good men and women, then return to the earth to receive the blessing before they can enter the Garden of Restoration. Through this blessing ceremony, they receive the same amazing grace as earthly people. First of all, the ancestors' sins are liquidated. True parents are the very first people in the history of the world to receive the authority to forgive our sins. They can solve our individual sin, collective sin, inherited sin, and even original sin. 
This is an amazing grace that could not even be imagined by any religious leader or saint in history. In the Bible, Hebrews 9.27 states, And just as it is appointed for men to die once, and after that comes judgment, this is eternal judgment. If a person goes to suffer in hell, they have no way to get out of there and are stuck there suffering forever. The blessing is the way to be rescued from the sins which would stay there stuck to them in the dark like an eternal name tag. In the Bible, in Luke 16, 19 to 25, there's a story about a rich man and a man named Lazarus. The rich man died and went to hell, where he was in anguish with flames and longing for a drink of water. True parents have rescued even him and led him to salvation. Second, Second, the ancestors are also reborn as God's children. Third, the ancestors received the three blessings that were lost by Adam and Eve. As a result, in heaven, they become like sons and daughters at the original time of creation and are reborn as true owners of Chonilguk. After after good spirits receive the blessing, they gain eternal life in the heaven. And through the power of true love, they can go anywhere, make anything, and do anything. The reason the blessing has to be held on the earth is that people can only be reborn as citizens of Chonilgug on the earth. And they can only complete their spiritual growth by borrowing a physical body on earth through returning resurrection. Our ancestors were born on earth through false parents. They committed sins while living on the earth and after living the hell on earth went to the spirit world. So all spirits have to be reborn through true parents and after participating in the providence of restoration by completing conditions on the earth to solve their sins, they can finally live their eternal life in the spirit world. It is impossible to estimate the surprising grace received by participating in this blessing ceremony. It is a grace from heavenly parent and true parents that can never be repaid, no matter how hard you might try. No matter how amazing the grace of the ancestor celebration and blessing is, when we think about how it is only possible with the substantial offerings of Chongsong, by the heavenly tribal messiahs, we can understand the importance of responsibility of descendants living on earth. In 2017, I led great works in four countries in Africa over a period of 21 days. During that time in Zambia, after a group of 40 ministers who had been invited by a religious leader from Zimbabwe had attended a divine principle workshop, they participated in an ancestor blessing ceremony. After that, Ndanga, the religious leader who invade, invited them, wrote this letter to True Mother. Beloved True Mother, the ancestor celebration and blessing ceremony is the final grace and blessing that is mentioned in the Bible. Some of the bishops who came with me shed tears as they referred to the first Corinthians 15.29. Otherwise, what do people mean by being baptized on behalf of the dead? If the dead are not raised at all, why are people baptized on their behalf? Until now, I did not know that there was such a precious blessing as this. I believe that ancestor celebration blessings like this must be conducted all around Africa. The whole world needs them, but Africa needs them the most. Beloved True Mother, please send the great works to Africa again. Heavenly Parent has truly given amazing authority to true parents of heaven, earth, and humankind. They have the authority to give new life to all of humanity through the marriage blessing. Just as it is only possible to be born on earth through the love of your parents, the rebirth of fallen humankind absolutely can only be done through the authority of the true parents. Through true parents' works of rebirth, 
it is possible for all of humankind to be one cosmic extended family under heavenly parent and true parents. True parents hold this eternal authority as a true, holy, and virtuous emperor of Chonilgug, reigning over mirrored peoples and triumph on all levels, surprising any age or place. Chonilgug is true parents' nation where two people become one. Conversely, at the place where there are no true parents, there would be no sun and moon, like a world of darkness and death, with no air. That is, it would be like hell. The place which denies true parents is a place without true love, true life, and true lineage. That means it is a place where we cannot inherit the value of the blessing. Thus, it is destiny that true parents are the true parents of all humankind on earth and in heaven. Just as children cannot choose their parents, we cannot choose the absolute, unique, unchanging, and eternal true parents. In Chonyanguk, true parents are the true ancestors for all humankind. True parents have also shared this amazing authority with the blessed families. So, what does that mean for the blessed families? First, they need to witness to people on the earth and complete the heavenly tribal messiah mission. This is completing the horizontal tribal messiah mission by blessing three families up to 430 math families. Second, they gave the grace to liberate and bless a vertical tribe. Among those in the spirit world, the first to be restored are those who borrow the physical bodies of blessed families to work on the earth. All spirits who have not completed their spiritual growth have to borrow a physical body to receive spirit elements. So even without knowing it, the blessed couples have spirit people who are work working with them. That is why we must distinguish between the actions and words of good spirits and the actions and the words of evil spirits. It's possible at any given time for many spirits to be per present and working with one person. And this can lead to unstable actions of character. Because those spirits have borrowed your body for a long time, they are not going to leave just because you asked them to. You must inflict suffering and indemnity on them for them to leave. The thing that separates those spirits and sends them to a training center in the spirit world is Chombo Tanyang Yoksa. And the spirits who have borrowed our physical bodies for returning resurrection receive the blessing first before our ancestors. So as we live on the earth, we must be aware that there are many spirits with us and we must separate the spirits from our bodies as often as we can. And by liberating and blessing the ancestors in our direct li lines and grandmother's lines up to generation 430, we can fulfill our vertical heavenly tribal messiah mission. As a blessed family, if you don't complete your heavenly tribal messiah responsibility, you must be responsible for that. In verses 7, 4, 1 to 10 pages, 769 to 770 of Chong Song Gyeong, true parents said, at this time, billions of spirits are attacking the earth in order to occupy it. The most beautiful thing is that is if only evil spirits are mobilized and invade the earth. In that situation, the question is how things will turn out. No matter how many people there are on earth, they will end up being attacked by evil spirits. This is why, centered on the good spirits, the foundation of the spirit world is expanding continuously. That is why we have the mission to continuously separate spirits through Chombo Chanyang Yoksa. Make them into good spirits and expand the foundation in the spirit world. The spirits with the most pain and resentment are baby spirits and unmarried spirits. True parents have also opened the path to liberate and restore these spirits. This is why big troubles come if you don't liberate and bless your ancestors or if you stop doing it. Chong Song Young, 7-4 page 786 says if you do not receive the blessing become the messiah for your family and your tribe and perform the liberation of your ancestors up to seven generations problems will rise there's a saying he who gives a disease offers the remedy all your ancestors are giving you diseases and offering you remedies by blessing even the evil spirits who are on earth we transform them into good spirits at the last workshop i told you a story about a pastor 
that illustrates this problem. He understood that he had to bless his ancestors up to two, generation 120, but he, then he heard that we have to bless them up to generation 210, and he struggled with that and thought, as soon as I get to 120 generations, I'm going to stop. After that, when his son ascended suddenly from a traffic accident, he repented and blessed the ancestors up to 210 generations and then 430 generations and then became a registered Chumbo family. When you complete your heavenly tribal messiah mission, the spiritual background changes. Your family gains support from all the spirits that you have blessed. We can read in section 225 of the Divine Principle about the period when the people of the faith on earth and in heaven are to bear the third responsibility to defeat Satan, the fallen archangel, and complete the providence of restoration. The returning Lord who comes to complete the providence of restoration does not come alone. This is why in the Revelation chapter 1 verses 7 it says, Behold, he is coming with the clouds. Those clouds are the believers on earth and in the spirit world. In, in Judah 1, 114, it is also written, Behold, the Lord comes with his holy merits. At the first coming of Christ, he died on the cross because Satan had taken control over the earth. At the second coming, Christ met the only begotten daughter, be became the victorious true parents and gathered power like a big cloud by expanding the blessing across the earth and blessings spirits in the spirit world. So, on November 10, 2019, at the victory celebration for the heavenly nation of Kyongsang, True Mother said, I have an enormous background of support and proclaim, if you come with me, there is nothing you can do, not do. If you have faith in the only begotten daughter, true mother, and go forth with strength and courage, you will absolutely be able to accomplish God's will. Everything will go well. We are not up to it, but as the sons and daughters of true parents who have a tremendous spiritual background, if we have an absolute bond of heart, we can exercise that authority. Also, by following the words of true parents, if we do chanyang to separate our spirits, bless our ancestors, perform collateral liberations, witness and have many spiritual children, when they bless their ancestors, our tribe will increase like a pyramid from hundreds to thousands to tens of thousands. In the meantime, some people receive Chonyuguk awards because they blessed 210 generations of ancestors before Foundation Day on the 13th day of the first month of 2013. After that, True Mother asked us to also bless our ancestors up to generations 420. And to complete the process, added 10 more generations so it is up to 430 generations. Looking, at, looking back at this, there is a surprising meaning contained in these numbers. The number 430 is a number of liberation. The first Israel was freed from Egypt after 430 years. The third Israel, Korea, saw a new light at year 4300 by their Dangun calendar. That is why we must bring victory with the number 430. And going one step further, we should bring victory with the number 4000. And 300. If we bless eight lines of our ancestors vertically up to 430 generations, we will have blessed 3,440 families. And if we bless 430 families horizontally, that ups to 3,870 families. And there is one more line that is, my brothers and sisters who have a common base with me and those spirits who have borrowed my sp physical body for their growth through returning resurrection. If we separate and liberate 430 of these, we will have 4,300 families in 10 lines. Only then will we stand in the position to secure complete physical and spiritual salvation. How much will these restored absolute good spirits praise and support the heavenly tribe and messiahs? If you hear the sound of that praise even one time, you will not long for anything else in the world.
if they praise the tribal messiahs like that, how do you think they would praise true parents? The sound of praise from the spirits and the angels and all things for the true parents of heaven, earth, and humankind fills the cosmos and is itself eternally glorious. With this kind of tremendous spiritual background as the only begotten daughter, true mother, is showing us the miraculous works of the substantial Holy Spirit. The work of the heavenly tribal messiahs has expanded all across the world and brought the victory of restoring seven nations and seven religious groups in Vision 2020. Even in the middle of COVID-19, we have been victorious. As a result, we have reached the safe settlement of Chonilguk. And since we made a safe home for Heavenly Parent, True Parents here on Earth, True Mother has proclaimed Heavenly Parents Holy Community so that the so uh, sovereignty will never vanish. After that, she has been embracing the world through the rallies of hope. Even though we have been born with a fallen lineage here on this earth, ignorant of the path we need to follow, not knowing the path to heavenly parent or to the spirit world, even though we who do not have even one handful of earth, true parents have called us, and even at the sacrifice of their own children, they have shed their blood, sweat, and tears to find us, and they have set us up in an amazingly high place. We have Follow the evil, uh, the will without concern for fame or recognition have proclaimed. As it is this in the song Tanshim Ga, Although my body perishes and yet 100,000 times dies, my bones become ashes, even my soul vanishes. Still, all my love and all my heart unchanging remains with you. As we have gone anywhere and done anything to restore people and restore things, heaven has showered us with grace and blessings beyond anything we can express. This is past October 10, through the Tombo Registration Blessing, true parents gave us the opportunity to become the citizens, true citizens of Chonyeguk. This was the true parents' great love to give all the glory to their children. So, for we who know the will, we who know true parents, especially we who know the only begotten daughter, true mother, the substantial Holy Spirit, the true mother of heaven, earth, and humankind, no matter what difficulty may come, no matter what adversity may come, we must move forward with a heart of gratitude. The suffering we endure with true parents becomes our eternal spiritual fortune. The blood, sweat, and tears we shed on the earth will be transformed to a flowered path of praise and glory when we go to the spiritual world. This is truly a victorious way of life. I hope that this 1521st workshop will be a time for you to renew your determination to make a strong new beginning. As I conclude my message, I would like to offer you my congratulations for attending this first Hyojong Chombo special training session of 2021. Thank you very much.